Hello everyone, Maria McKay here, and welcome back to part 7 of Felscar. Okay, so, um, we got a new reveal, yeah? Well done. One dragon less to pest the Skyrim. Huh? Um, so yeah, we got a new reveal, yeah, and, um, so now we're gonna go to Plans of Changes, and we're going to go to the docks. Because we may have to go back to Skyrim. Actually, we're probably going to be going back to Skyrim for a while at least. We'll come back. Damn, my back is shiny. <laughs> Die, rabbit! No, I'm just Seem to much, be much excitement along the roads. Maybe it's because they all have guards patrolling the roads. I have seen one of those before, and I don't care if I never see one again. Looks like you might actually have to go off the beaten path to get any real action around here. Really is really very singy today. I'd rather fight bandits than Draugr. At least bandits know when to stay dead. <laughs> this is fun. So quiet. I hope you aren't mad at me or something. No. Huh. <clears throat> we had the right direction. Yes. What are you thinking of? You're so quiet. Or maybe it's just because that I am talking all the time. What's that? Hello. Okay. Of course we scavenge even the clothing of dead bandits. You. But for Please. goodness sake, help me. Wash them before you put them on. Thank the nine someone finally came by. I've been out here for days. I was on my patrol when I heard screaming down the road. I rushed over only to find a caravan under assault by bandits. I tried to help, but there were too many. 
I'm afraid I was wounded during the fight. Took a hefty blow to the stomach. The bandit must have thought he killed me because he moved on. After the fight ended, while they were looting the carts, I overheard them talking. The leader of the group was a dangerous marauder we've been trying to kill for months now called Jarek the Crusher. If you're off to find him, be careful. He and his gang are a dangerous bunch. They're holed up in Mammoth Keep, far to the northeast. If you have any potions you could spare, I'd be thankful. I'm afraid Jarek's hammer prevents magic from doing any good, so I need a tonic. Uh, uh, here, have a potion of vigorous healing. Uh, I feel much better. Thank you kindly. Now, please, leave me to bury the dead and pay my respects. Shouldn't you go back to town and tell them about this? With their help? Burying the dead? I don't know. So, where is that at? I think that's way over here. Mammoth Keep? Yeah. We're not going to Mammoth Keep. Not right now, anyway. Besides, it would just be to fetch something. I forgot what I was We'd have to go to back say. to Amber Creek, and it's not really my intention to go all the way back to Amber Creek. Some excitement. Spiders. He hates spiders. You will be oh. so dead. Yep, you're so dead. These things are creepy looking. Ugh. Oh. one would have been less hostile if the tribes weren't led by hag rebels. I don't know. That's a pretty sight. Such a lovely evening. I'd like to stay up all night. No problem there. <laughs> that way. Am I talking too much? Citizen? Just tell me if you want me to keep quiet. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. I think we should go to an inn and have a nice meal. Sounds good, but right now we're on the job. Aren't you horribly afraid of those vampires? I am. I'm so happy for Leifer. He's such good company. Is he? I think he's a bad dog. He barks all the time, do you? All the time. You look very handsome in that outfit. Do you know that? Oh, thank you.
She should rename this Velia in Felscar. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. Well, I wouldn't have much to say if I'm just tooling along the road. I, should... I don't know. If the whole land wasn't modded, I'd cut things like this out of a video normally, but um, the whole land is new, so you never know what you're going to run up against. And my, and my purpose is to showcase oh, the entire mob. Are afraid of water. No wonder they are so smelly. Yeah, my purpose is to showcase the entire mod, not just bits of it. Aren't you curious about what the Greybeards want to talk to you about? I am. You will take me with you to High Rothgar, won't you? Yeah, it's for you. When we go to High Rothgar, you can come along. I'm not happy fighting the Force War. There are also people of Skyrim. Just wish oh. we all live in peace. Can't we all I'm just get along? Where's that? Bite mine! You'll have to do better than that. You think you stand a chance? Oh, give me that one. What a lovely evening this is. Yep. Yeah. The bandits in the moonlight. I'm so happy for Lafer. He's such good company. Uh, yes, untie them. Would you believe it? Some people even swim with a helmet on. I mean. Isn't that taking precaution way too far? Aren't we gonna say thank you, people? No? Talk to Henrik. How have you been, friend? Do you know where the, fro the Frost Runner's wreck is? Ah, you're looking for Svea. Honestly, I think the Frost Runner's wreck is just off the coast by the ice caves. But I'm not certain. Why didn't you tell all that to Harold? Well, I didn't trust him. He sounds like a good-for-nothing treasure hunter, and like he made up that story about his family. Oh. That ring belongs to Svea. Yeah, is so that Billy or... Who the hell was pushing me? Back to Skyrim, then? 
How can a place this uh, pretty be so dangerous? The coast may look docile and beautiful, but it's just as deadly as the rest of Foscar. We don't have much lore from before our arrival, but what we do have refers to this place as the Dread Coast. It used to shield the land from the Arctic winds, and was one of the most dangerous places on the entire island. The shoreline is littered with sunken reminders of the treachery that lies behind those calm waves. It's so bad that I'm the only one who still runs a boat to Skyrim, at least officially. The shores also serve as an inlet for swarms of bandits and hired blades, ready to pillage the land and take all that we have left. But I'm probably just making it sound worse than it is. We get by. It isn't always easy, but we make do. Mm. I've been told you could take me to Skyrim. Oi there, name's Wolf. I'm the captain of the ship Doctor. I wanted to thank you for helping out. Damned bandits snuck up on us. Now, I also wanted to offer to you the service of my boat. If you need to travel between Falskar and Skyrim, as long as I'm in port, I'll take you. However, it won't be free. I wish it could be, but travel simply costs too much these days. It'll be 500 gold a trip. I know it's a bit steep, but I'll shift my schedule for your convenience. Hopefully that's alright. It's the best I can offer. The trip takes less than a day. Just hop on the boat whenever you need to go and I'll get things in order. You can even have the top bunk. You may use the trapdoor on Wolf's boat to go to and from Skyrim for a fee. Okay. Are you alright? You seem rather distracted. Well, actually, no. I'm not alright. I recently found something that's brought up a lot of questions about some old friends. Who were they? Two friends of my parents. They ran the lighthouse a long time ago. Jana and Alvar were friends of my parents when my mother was pregnant with me. A long time ago. They lived in the lighthouse and kept it running, guiding boats in during storms or dark nights. One day, out of nowhere, they left on a trip to Skyrim. A few days later, they were supposed to return, by boat, of course. That night, there was a particularly nasty storm, and they never made it home. After they weren't heard from for several days, a guardsman went up to check on them, to see if they were all right. He was never seen or heard from again, and so rumors arose about that place being haunted. As far as I know, nobody has stepped foot in that place since that guard, and that was damn near 50 years ago. So what has you so worried about this all of a sudden? Well, it was all ghost tales and bedtime stories, until recently. I was walking on the beach the other day, clearing my head before running a shipment to Skyrim, and I found something. In a small dugout on the beach was a sack of old coins and a letter. These coins, the really old, must have been on that beach for ages, and the letter was from my parents. I think it belonged to Jaina. Why would they hide something like this on the beach? What happened to them? Now I really want to find out. Why don't you go in there and find out? I would, but I'm constantly running trips between Falskar and Skyrim. Being the only tradesman left in this land doesn't exactly leave me the free time to go ghost hunting. Plus, what if giant spirit really haunts that place? I hate to ask it, so I'll leave it as more of a suggestion. If you were to take a look, I'd be in your debt. I've always wondered what really happened to them, so finding out would be nice. Just be careful, and let me know if you find out what happened to them. Huh. Alright, well, we'll end it there. Stay safe. Or will we? Um... <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, we'll end uh, part seven here. I will see you. Oh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.